Hello, and welcome to the spot sample witnessing simulation using the purging fill and empty method. First, let's get familiar with the equipment we'll be using. See the table? We'll walk over there and pick up each piece of equipment to hear a detailed example of what the equipment is used for. Here we have a pigtail. A pigtail is a piece of tubing placed on the end of the sample cylinder that is typically one quarter inch in diameter and at least 36 inches in length. The pigtail should be the smallest diameter portion of the entire sample system in order to create maximum pressure drop causing a reduction in temperature due to the Joule-Thompson effect and therefore thermally isolating the outlet valve of the sample cylinder from the cooling effect during the purging process. Note, if the pigtail is coiled, the user is cautioned to leave enough air gaps to prevent thermal coupling of the coils. Here we have a double valve cylinder which stores a gas sample in a protected and secure state until the gas composition can be determined. Now let's review the purge, fill and empty method by reviewing the written procedures on the wall. Always check, verify, and document the system pressure prior to proceeding. This system's pressure is 175 PSI. First, open the sample outlet valve and thoroughly blow out any accumulated material and then close the sample out. Great job! Now using the quick connect fittings, attach the double valve cylinder to the sample port. The cylinder should be in a vertical position. Outstanding! Now using the quick connect fittings on the pigtail end, Attach the pigtail to the top of the double valve cylinder. Awesome! Now open the sample outlet valve at the bottom. Now slowly open the cylinder inlet valve on the bottom of the double valve cylinder. Great job! Now let's slowly open the cylinder outlet valve on the top of the double valve cylinder to the full. Awesome job! Next, open the extension tube valve at the end of the pigtail and purge the line slowly with gas to displace any air in the sample system. Now, close the extension tube valve and allow pressure to build up rapidly to the Great job! You have successfully completed the sample system setup and are now ready to begin purging the sample cylinder. Remember, the number of purges required is determined solely by the system's pressure. If you have questions, refer to Table 3. Proper purging of the sample cylinder only requires us to open and close two separate valves in a coordinated sequence. The sample cylinder inlet valve and the extension tube valve. That's it. Let's start by closing the sample cylinder inlet valve to the fully closed position. Careful to not release all the pressure, slowly open the extension tube valve and allow the pressure to almost reduce to close the extension. Hey, that's it. You've successfully completed purge number one. Open the sample cylinder inlet valve to the fully open position. Now close the sample cylinder inlet valve to the fully closed position. Careful to not release all the pressure. Close the... Great job! You have successfully completed purge number two. Now open the sample cylinder inlet valve to the full... Now close the sample cylinder inlet valve to the fully... Careful to not release all the... Close... Outstanding! You have successfully completed purge number three. Now open...
open the sample cylinder inlet valve to the now close the sample cylinder inlet valve to the fully closed position. Careful to not release all the pressure. Close the great job. You've successfully completed purge number four. And according to our sample system pressure, that was your final purge. Now let's work on breaking down or disassembling the sample system appropriately. Now open the sample cylinder inlet valve to the fully open position. Fantastic. Now close the sample. Now close the sample cylinder inlet valve to the fully closed. Awesome job. Now close the sample cylinder outlet valve to almost there. Now slowly open the extension tube valve to slowly vent and release. Hey, you did it. Now you can carefully remove the pigtail and the double valve cylinder from the sample port. When you're ready to start the spot sample witness simulator, press the green start button on the wall.
Hello, and welcome to the Spot Sample Witness Simulation using the purging fill and empty method. First, let's get familiar with the equipment we'll be using. 